going to be on this awesome makeup tutorial and just to tell you guys that I've used new products for this one and it's from a company called Killer Monroe. I'm going to be filming a haul and show you guys what she had sent me um, but they are amazing amazing cool pigmentation to them and the logo I don't know if you guys could see that very well but it has like skulls and roses and stuff like that which is one of my favorite <laughs> details ever to be honest so this is the look that I came up with I kind of mixed all the colors that she sent me in this but I'm definitely going to be doing a more wearable look if you guys know what I mean and um, so I just added some uh, glitter on there there's also one more glitter that I did not use for this look because I didn't know where to put it so I just decided to use one and um, this is the look. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you guys want to know how I achieved this, please keep on watching. First thing I went ahead and I did is that I applied Elf Mineral Eyeshadow Primer all over my eyelid and also blended that with my finger and I applied it to the lower lash line after that. And then the first color I'm going to be taking is this one right here. I don't know if you guys could see the color, but it's a very nice kind of a golden color. And this one's called Fallen. And I'm going to pick up this color with a eyeshadow brush like this one, very rounded. And I'm just going to place that a little bit on the lid and just apply that on the eyelid. Just like this. It doesn't really need to be that perfect, but you want to make sure that it's kind of somewhat blended. Next color I'm going to be taking is this one. It's a darker purplish kind of a color, and this is called Skyline. And I'm going to pick this color up with a angled brush like this one, a pretty big one. And I'm going to kind of cut my crease with this one. And I'm going to use my uh, the lid of the eyeshadow as well. And I'm also I'm just the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to apply it dry and then I'm going to use it wet with the eye gas from the Kilimanjaro as well. But for now I'm just going to take what's on the lid, tap on the axis, and I want to go ahead and basically cut my crease. I'm just going to kind of draw it a little bit higher than my actual crease from out here and then basically just bringing in the color to the inner tear duct. Once you have that place, I'm going to blend this upwards with the same brush. Take a fluffy um, angle brush like this one and you basically need to blend that. So I'm going ahead and applying only one drop of eye gas on the lid. Just a tiny little drop. Because there's still some um, pigments on there so I'm just going to take them and mix it with the eye gas with the same brush. And I'm going to place that in the crease. And just blend upwards as well. Taking a blending brush like this, and I'm going to pick up the same color again. And I'm going to place that right on top of it. I'm going to take a strap of tape. I'm just going to place it at the back of my hand just to make it a little bit less sticky. And I'm going to place that kind of upward. And I'm going to follow basically the my eyebrow, the end of it. And I'm just going to place that like this. Again, do not look at my nails. Horribly done. 
and um, yeah, and I'm gonna start blending this color toward the tape a little bit. Take the fluffy brush again and you basically want to start blending this. And you can take off the tape from there. I know there's a huge space um, lacking over here just because I'm going ahead and I'm basically going to join it with an eyeliner that looks like this. It's a bit thicker than usual but I thought it's really pretty for this look. So that's done and then I'm going to be taking a color and this is it. It's a very nice kind of a nudie color. Um, a bit more champagne. I don't know how to describe this color. It's very very beautiful. This is called Harvest and I'm going to take it with a small eyeshadow brush like this one just a little bit of this color and I'm going to place it right under my eyebrow right down here just like this and then I'm going to be taking um, a color from my MAC palette and I'm going to take a matte white and this is called Gesso where is it? it's right here with the same brush again and I'm going to basically blend it with Harvest. The thing I want to go ahead is that I want to go ahead and apply my glitter. Um, I'm using this uh, glitter gel that I got from a while back from a drug from a Halloween store and it's just a base so the glitter could stay on you can use lash glue you can use I don't know whatever else you want to use you could use but I really um, like this it's not bad it's not that good either but it still you know kind of sticks the eyeshadows uh, the sorry the the glitter on there and I'm just going to be taking this eyeshadow brush from the eco-friendly um, and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that and place it right on top of the eyeshadow. The reason why I put the eyeshadow first there because I wanted somewhat a base for the glitter to stick on. The glitter I'm using it is this one um, and this is called uh, Money Penny and I'm gonna pick some of this glitter up and basically just place it right on top of the uh, glitter gel. If you have some glitter that has fallen out, just take some of that tape and just take it off. It gets it sticks to the tape really easily. Um, I wouldn't recommend you use a brush to wipe them off because it's just gonna stick on the brush and they're gonna come back to your face and you really don't want that. So just take a tape and just pat it all over and then it's just gonna take it off really easily. So I'll go ahead and apply the liner. Um, I basically just followed the line that I've created with the eyeshadow and just basically connected it to the upper lash line as well. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll be back for the rest of this eye tutorial. Okay, so this is how the liner is. I believe it's not the same thing as the other side but it's kind of late now and I'm going to be taking it off later. But um, I tried my best to do them equal and I also while I was away I applied uh, false lashes. The one I used they were the Ardell Demi Wispies in black. There's no number to this, but these are one of my favorite um, kind of lashes that I like to put lately. So moving on to the lower lash line, I'm going to be using a color called Vino. 
and this is how it looks like it's a beautiful reddish color and I'm going to pick this color up and place it at the lower lash line Once this color is placed, I'm going to take the dark color again, Skyline, and also using the lid for this one because there's some pigment on there with the same brush and I'm going to place this at the outer corners of the lower lash line. Next I'm just taking a black eyeliner. The one I have is the Casual Eyeliner. It's actually a black eyeliner. You can find the same one um, at Victoria's Secret if ever you're interested. And I'm going to be placing that on the waterline up and down. And I'm also just going to drag this to the um, lash line as well, just blending it with the eyeshadows. So this is the finished look. I decided to kind of make it a bit more dramatic and add a really dark purple uh, lipstick and the one I have on is uh, MAC Cyber. It's one of my favorites to be honest, especially um, especially during this season. For contour, I use my MAC Browsing Powder and this is called Refined Golden and it's just a pretty bronzed um, bronzer kind of thing and I just use it to contour. Then for blush I use also a beauty powder from MAC and this is called Rose and I just put that on the apples of my cheeks. For lashes I use my MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash just to blend my real lashes into the false lashes so it won't look so tacky and uh, my top is from Forever 21 and yes yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this look if you don't want to put somewhat a really dark lip color that I have on you can definitely go ahead and put a nude one that will be really pretty um, the one I would recommend you to put on would be Honey Love from MAC just because it's a matte nude color and it's one of my favorites if ever you want to pick up a nice nude color it would be probably be honey love if ever you guys are interested so this is the finished look hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned to the end for some pictures as well and if you have any questions please don't be shy to leave it in the comments down below i'll get to you as soon as possible if ever you're interested to purchase these eyeshadows or these eye glitter that i've used the link of the killer monroe website is going to be in the info box for you guys they are awesome pigmentate and I love them so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later bye guys